Hey Sabi Girls! Welcome to Betsy V Lifestyle! I'm back to do another Dear Diary session and it's exciting because it's about relationships and boyfriends and boys. We all like boys. Well, some of us do. I know. We prefer one thing than the other. <laughs> An amiga who bloomer who asked me for advice and she basically said, what is a good age to start a family and move in with somebody? All right, let me start off with my story and some experience so I can tell you why I have this opinion on the subject. The story is that I basically lived with my family, my parents, the majority of my life. And it was great. I stayed home. I had dinner cooked for me every night. I had to do my own laundry. And I did have to pay some type of rent since I wasn't at school anymore. I was actually a social worker. So I did have to pay some rent. But... I had no problem. I didn't see the issue with me living with my parents. I was still, I had my car, I had a job, and I was just saving money. And I didn't really see the need to live with anybody. I wasn't with anybody that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move in with them. It's a huge decision when you decide to move in with somebody. It is very nerve wracking. And I know with guys, you know, if you're young, especially like when I was very young, I'd get in a relationship and I'll say, oh, I love him. Not really love, I would never say I love him. I love maybe like two people ever in my life. But you'd be so in love and you wanted to live with them and you're like, I want to see them every day. And it's a great thing, but boys are messy. Like me and Boy Toy, we moved in together after, holy crap, we moved in after I think three months together. Like, that's insane. I don't know why we did that. We just kind of like jumped the gun and we did it. And I don't regret it, but we always talk about it. He basically was on his own at 16, 18 or something like that. Like he lived on his own. He was, he got to do things that a lot of us weren't able to do. I was very controlled still by my parents. Well, my dad mostly. Like I would be out of college and he's, I would still have to ask him for permission. It was insane. So I didn't get to experience a lot of things. I would say moving in with somebody at 20, 21, 22, 23, I think. That's kind of like getting in a relationship, a serious relationship so young is scary. Like me and boys, we got serious so quick. We had a kid and I, I don't regret it. I love it. I love him. I love our daughter. But I always tell him I wish I would have experienced living on my own first and just being on my own, being an adult by myself. Like I became, I was a child living with my parents and then I had to become an adult living with him. So it was crazy. It was, I think I should have went on vacation more with my girls when I was single and I should have, I don't know, done a lot of other things while I was single. And it's great when you're single because you get, you don't have to ask anybody for permission and be careful what you say and how you act. It's just fun and it was a great time. I just wish I was living on my own. On my own. But even when we moved in together, like we, ha we found that we were pregnant three months after that. So everything was in like a six month time span. It was just insane. And we talk about this too. We're like, we should have traveled more. We should have just been, it should have just been us alone together to experience things and just enjoy each other and go out and we don't regret Zianna at all but at the same time once you have a kid things change. The dynamic of the relationship changes because he's he parents one way, you parent another way, you might parent the same way but sometimes there's disagreements. You guys can't go to a lot of parties or events or whatever it is together all the time because you can't rely on somebody else to always take care of your kid unless it's for work, you know? So I would say, not, not if there's a really, not saying that there's a really good age, like at 26 is a good age to fall in love and, and move in together. Um, I would just say 20, under 24 at least. Don't get so serious. Be serious, but not as serious. Like, live on your own. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. And definitely, if you have, if you have a boyfriend, don't have a kid that fast. Try to enjoy each other together first and try to explore the world together before settling down. I think 
that's the best advice I could give you. There's no age. If you feel like you're ready, you've done everything at the age of 22, 23, then by all means, go for it. Just, I don't, I don't know if I really regret it, but I just like, oh, I wonder, like, what would life have been, had, have been like if I was on my own, you know? So I don't live in regret. And not that I live really in regret, just like, what ifs. But yeah, I think that's a good age once you feel like you're ready and you've explored. It doesn't have to be 26. Like, if you are don't feel like you're ready until 30, that's even better. <laughs> but yeah, kids are wonderful, but it, just remember it changes the dynamic of the relationship. And moving in with the boy kind of sucks. I mean, they're great because they're always there for you and they fix things. Hopefully, your guy would fix things for you. But we fight about clutter. I'm like, the pillow. Like, last night. He, he was on one side of the couch, I was on the other side of the couch. One pillow is on the floor, the other pillow is like this. You, you couldn't do this? Like what is so hard about that? He sees like a toilet roll, an empty toilet roll on the floor that he took out. You're not gonna pick that up? Like they don't get it. It's so frustrating. If you can handle that, then <laughs> bravo. But we fight a lot about this little stuff. And then he gets mad at me. Like, you're not my mother. I'm like, I know I'm not. But this is common sense. If a pillow's on the floor, pick it up. Put it on the couch. I don't get it. You know? So, <laughs> good luck to you guys. I hope you enjoy your time living together with a guy. It's quite, quite an adventure. Alright, so I hope that little uh, rant talk with you guys helps. That's my phone, my timer. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and share. Adios. Let me know. Oh, and let me know what else you want me to talk about. Okay.